Good morning, guys. So I'm so, so excited to share this. We're not going to show my face because I'm looking a little crusty today and I need to take a shower first. And the things that are in this box are going to help me take my shower. Um, so, yes, Lee? Yeah, I ran out of hair product. Um, so like my shampoo, conditioner, stuff like that. And so I thought I would try Briochio this time because last time I just... The stuff that I was using wasn't really doing anything for my hair. So I got this little Velospa candle uh, with my Sephora points. But I thought I'd try Briogeo because I'm hoping that this will give my hair the moisture that it needs because apparently this line is super moisturizing. So I got the Don't Despair Repair conditioner and then I also got the Super Moisture Shampoo. So I got the mask and then I also got the strengthening treatment oil so i'm gonna probably do like a deep condition today with a bag over my head so i got that which is really pretty and then the last thing is the don't despair repair strength and moisture leave-in mask we got the moisture shampoo the strengthening treatment oil the leave-in mask deep conditioning mask the super moisture conditioner and then my little point reward this actually smells really good i've never used Velaspa candles before so this one's really nice so i'm actually gonna jump in the shower right now get my day started we're getting a little late start to the day it's 11 24. i'm gonna get in the shower get myself cleaned up and freshened up we have some stuff to do around the house namely laundry to fold finally have to put up our blinds and all of that good stuff so that's what we're gonna get started on. Yes, so she has to get down um, these, the curtains. So she took the curtains down, but then these guys need to come out and then she needs to patch them. Oops. Babe, you just like marked the wall. It's okay, it'll be fine. Will it, will it really? So she has to basically get these out and uh, patch the holes with dry decks or spackle. And this is the spackle that we use. For those of you who are interested, if you have a house, you should have this. That is my recommendation. They also sell the smaller tubs too if you wanna have that. But these are, this is really great because it goes on pink and it dries white so you know when it's dry. And then she's gonna sand it and obviously eventually we're gonna get this room painted. So once she's done doing the blinds, I'm gonna clean up the room really nicely and I'm very, very excited to see how it's gonna look when she's done. Like this. Aren't you gonna peel these guys off? I love this. Why do you love this? Just watching me. Eh? What can I do? I gotta uh... You want me to get up on the ladder too? I gotta um... Flip the laundry over. It's part of my duties today. I love this situation that we got going on right here anyways it needs to be a little bit bigger yeah but i gave them the right dimension so they sent the wrong ones i put 26 and a half and they sent me 26 so i'm wondering if they deliberately send them half sized small or if this is actually a mistake on their part so i'm going to reach out to them and see what they say about that the blinds already look way better than the curtains, to be honest with you. So, but I don't like that, that line. So I'm going to see what they say. I guess like a little bit of light streaming through is really not that bad because considering because they look way better than the curtains that were there before. So Hina patched up these holes. They're probably going to take a second patching, but they're starting to dry, which is nice. Um, they're still pink right now, so they're not ready to go yet. But these look really nice. They're cordless, so we don't have to worry about lace um, getting mixed up in the wires. And they just kind of push up like this. For those of you interested, this is the linen uh, blackout blinds in uh, flat fold with no valance. And then we mounted it inside and uh, did it cordless. So it looks pretty good. I quite like it. I love it. And Hina is working on the one over there for our window. She's getting that in and then it'll be done. 
I know this is not the most flattering angle, but we're going to work with it. It's actually quite late. It's around 4 o'clock, I think. But, um, oh, 20% off sale items. Yep, it's 408. And I am just, I just got out of the shower, washed, deep conditioned my hair, put on some clean clothes. Do you know those days where you just like feel like absolute muck? And you just want to be, you just want to like take a one hour shower and just like stand there in the hot water, have it run down your skin. Yeah, today was, today was one of those days. But I washed my hair with the Briogeo line. And I have to say, from first impressions, I really like it. My hair right now is very soft. Um, and it just feels better. It just feels better. I don't know, I really like it. So I did the shampoo, the conditioner, and then I deep condition. I put a bag over my head and I did that for like, I stood in the shower for like 20 minutes. And I let just like the hot water from the shower run over the bag, just kind of like heat it up a little bit. And um, so I'm just more stressing my face because I just got out of the shower. You've seen my skincare routine, so this should come as no surprise to you. But I'm just doing some moisturizer. There's still a lot of work to be done in the house. We kind of just let laundry get away from us, and we don't know when it happened. It just did, and it just seems never ending. The last load is in the dryer right now, and there's already a load starting for next week. So I think what I'm going to start doing since I'm home for the next two weeks is I'm going to start doing laundry, maybe like do a load like every other day or something. We already folded tons and tons and tons of clothes this morning and there's still more clothes to be folded. This stuff down here is donation and then I have a pile of donation in Late's room. This stuff needs to get put away. This is um, gonna go somewhere with the curtains. I think we're gonna end up selling the curtains or keeping them for our basement downstairs when we eventually renovate that. But the blinds are in and they look really nice. My only concern is the size. So Hina measured it. This one is like 26 and a bit. And then that one is 26 exactly. So they're actually two different sizes, which kind of, it perturbs me. Um, so you will see a little bit of light streaming in when the blinds are down. Now it's not terrible and I'm not fully versed or well versed on the nuances of decor with Roman blinds. Roman blinds, but if you guys are more familiar with Roman blinds or window treatments in general, you can let me know. This is just not an area that I'm very familiar with. I just kind of go with what I like. But for the most part, I really like them. I like how thick they are. I like that they're blackout and they don't make the room as stuffy as with curtains. The only other thing now is without the curtains here to absorb so much of the sound, the room does feel a little bit more empty. So now I'm feeling like I need to put stuff in there. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to put you guys on a time lapse. I'm going to clean all of this up as fast as I can. I'm currently online looking for table lamps to go here and then I need a full length mirror for this room. And I'm thinking it's going to go on this wall once the chair goes down back downstairs into the uh the living room because we need a mirror upstairs we don't have a full length mirror anywhere other than the living room in the house so i'm gonna put you guys on a time lapse and clean this up and let's see how we do So rooms are clean. The wellness room, gym, workout office place is for the most part clean. I talked to you guys about moving late stuff in here and so I've just added a couple more things. So he has his puzzles and his coloring and his writing book. So there's that. And then I was able to clear out his drawers today. So this is just a bag of donation that's gonna go to the mission um, tomorrow or Tuesday. And then his room is also nice and clean, which makes me very, very, very happy. 
Okay, so my battery died, but I'm actually, I don't know if you can see this mess behind me in the kitchen there, but I have a kitchen to clean up. Um, I've already started cleaning up, so the living room is clean. Uh, this mask needs to go upstairs, it needs to go in the wash for lathe. Um, I do plan on painting my nails tonight. I'm gonna be using the Madame Glam um, nail thing. I think I might need to like kind of plug this into something though. Uses this USB here. And I think I wanna do the brown. I also think it'll go really well with my with my uh, my loungewear. Oh, forgot to show you guys. I picked up this vase at HomeSense for nineteen dollars. Nineteen dollars. It's definitely giving me Jonathan Adler Muse vibes. Like I don't know if you guys know about the Muse door candle. This reminds me of that, and you would not believe that it was nineteen dollars. It looks so expensive and it's so big i love it i cannot wait to just kind of like put some pamphlets in here and i saw it at home sense and i said to myself i'm like i'm not entirely sure what i'm gonna do with you yet but you're coming home with me and so i brought it home <laughs> with me <laughs> wearing my h&m loungewear tonight i love this set i feel like i need to go buy some more from h&m now because this set is just like so super soft and so comfy and it just kind of like makes you feel very put together at home and my flowers are kind of done for so time to order a new one and i don't typically order flowers this often or this much but i figured since it's the holidays it's really nice to have a beautiful tablescape and i have like an idea in mind so i'm going to order a new set of flowers for the table probably like a christmas set now um and it's gonna look really nice plus this one actually came with mealybugs i did manage to clean it off and i caught them in time but thankfully it's not near any of my plants to kind of spread to any of them but i did catch the couple bugs that i could see and so that was okay but i think it's time to retire this i'm gonna order a new bouquet tomorrow morning to have it delivered on christmas eve and so that makes me very, very excited. I'm not sure if I'm gonna order from Fiori for the next set because I, I, they have a centerpiece for a tablescape, but it's not my favorite. But I did find one from a local boutique um, called Forest of Flowers and they have a really, really beautiful one. So I might order it from them. Um, but I really love the magnolia in here. So I don't know. <laughs> Fiori works a lot with Magnolia and I really love that and I love the eucalyptus and the roses and the thistle and so I don't know I'm torn I'm torn do I want this stuff again or oh do I want see it's gone or do I want like to do something a little bit different we'll see we'll see because I do love Fiori they do cost a bit more but their stuff is just it's art, I tell you. Their stuff is art. I'm gonna quickly clean up this kitchen because Lath needs to go down in 40 minutes. It is 7.50. And so right now, he's having his little bathroom time, his potty time. And then while he's doing that, I'm gonna clean up the kitchen and then put him down to bed. And then I will have some time to myself to relax. Hina's out of the house right now. She went to drop off um, my car to BMW to get it serviced because of all the errors that just kind of popped up overnight. The sunroof stopped working, um, a restraint seatbelt problem, um, it needs a vehicle check and an oil change, so all of those things are going to get taken care of tomorrow, so she's dropping it off tonight because she won't be home tomorrow, um, she has to go back to work so that's being taken care of which makes me very happy because that was also making me very anxious especially the seat belt issue uh, we pick up our second car on thursday christmas eve right before the lockdown that we're about to go into but we've been planning christmas early this year because we wanted to be prepared last year we were not prepared <laughs> This year we will be. We are more than prepared. We're ready for the holidays. Let's do this. I'm gonna take a break from the 
cleaning. I'm gonna take a break from the cleaning and put Leith off to bed, get him down for the night, read him a couple books, and then I'm gonna come back and finish up the kitchen. I'm almost done. He has me sitting on her feet. <laughs> My feet are cold. Are you cold? <laughs> Thanks for dropping off the car for me. Right? Whatever. We are watching 90 Day Fiance. Can I tell you? Tell me. You know how I always park in like the drive thing? Yeah. There's like a big sign that says do not park there. Why? <laughs> so where did you park? In a parking spot. Oh dear. Do they know it's there though? Yeah. yeah. You have to check in, right? I don't think I'm going to paint my nails tonight. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm not going to leave your butt hanging. We're going to chill, watch 90 Day Fiance and edit. Sounds good? Sounds good. Hina ordered something for my, um, what do you call it? My stocking. And then these came free. And this is from this brand called AccuSpike. And these are kind of like acupressure rings that are really good for like arthritis and um, stuff like that, like joint pain, but it's also really good for anxiety. And it's kind of like an acupuncture type copper ring, so the edges are kind of more pronounced and it applies pressure to your fingers. That also helps relieve anxiety and this has been really helpful for me. And at first I'm just like, yeah, whatever, but I find that I, f I reach for it I've been reaching for it a lot today <laughs> and like I just go and get it and then I just start running it up and down my fingers. Um, I don't know much about the company but I am definitely going to look into it some but so far so good. This is really good. I think this comes what? Free gift with purchase? Yeah so this was a gift with purchase. Um, it's their Accu Spike Acupressure Ring. So very very cool. I'll link them down below. I think I'm going to end the vlog. So we're going to say goodnight. You want to edit, watch 90 Day Fiance, and play Monopoly? You think we can do all three? Can you go get it then? My feet are too, too cold. It's okay. <laughs> You're so weird. Pass me, the, pass me the... The blanket? My feet are always cold. I don't know why. You know whose feet are really cold? Lids. Yeah, because he doesn't wear no socks. He runs around. Lath has really cold feet. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. We will catch you in tomorrow's vlog. You'll probably see Hina in the evening when she comes home from work around, like, what, 7 o'clock? Yeah, but it'll just be me and Lathy tomorrow. So we'll see how that goes. <laughs>